put love, joy, and happiness away because they were just getting out of control and I didn't want them to defecate or I didn't want them to poop on my papers. So they're in their cage. I need to draw something up so that I can demolish the current house. So hopefully with my drawing, they'll accept it and we can tear the thing down. Description is totally different than what's, it goes off of different things, right? Different points. So instead of reading that thing, I just went out with a tape measure. That's what I came up with. They said they wanted more information. Hopefully that's all they need. Out of all my papers, I don't have a survey. It's different down here than it is in New York. In New York, you need like five things. Down here, it's like, ah, eh, you know, you can build a house on wood right on the ground, go for it. Let alone extra documentation, surveys, things like that. So I know people are gonna ask, so I'm gonna answer it right now. Uh, we have both the lights from the solar energy uh, system, and then we also have one light that is being powered by like the grid. So as you can see, our battery is juicing our lights. However, we could run this right now, but the only thing is, is the audio would get screwed up as soon as I plug in the light. So it did charge my batteries overnight. They're orange right now because I just literally turned the system on, but they're ready to go. So now we can turn off our lights. I kind of like the system. So I got the base of this tree looking pretty good. And the chicks appear to be having fun. Let's unsight a house. Just like that, it's done. However, in the beginning, uh, Cole got stung by a bee like right off the bat and Cole's allergic to bees. And then he went inside, kind of relaxed for a second, uh, looked to see if he was having an allergic reaction. He didn't, so he came back out. He took off like two pieces and then there was a piece uh, the ladder was hanging on to up in the air. And when I pulled the ladder down, it came down and got him right in the forehead. So now he's bleeding from his forehead. This side of the house definitely kicked Cole's butt. How are you making out? Oh 
Yeah, I don't think an air pump's gonna help us. Thank you, though. Oh, that's hot. Wow. stranded during COVID right now. My hair is an absolute mess. I understand that. I usually wear a hat. Uh, but we got to give this guy a shout out. Kevcan Service LLC. 40 years of experience. Handyman, remodeling, painting, bobcat excavator work, stump grinding. If you're in the... Archer. Archer. Archer, Florida. Uh, call Kevin Drow. 352-682-2967. Kevcan Services LLC. We're taking stranded with COVID-19 to a whole new level. This thing right here, uh, I have to thank Jake's grandmother, Jake the Toilet Snake's grandmother, for giving me this kit. This thing right here is probably gonna save our lives. We put it kind of, you know, out so that nobody hits us. We got that there. And then Kevin, he gave us some Mountain Dew. This whole experience is a little dirty, a little bit interesting and we're learning new stuff, but hey, you know what? It could be worse. What's really funny is this is the same exact tire that fell off on my trip down to Florida years ago. And now we're having difficulties with this one. So this time it's not the wheel falling off, it's just the tire blowing up. What had happened was I, I got a hole in this tire probably a few months ago and I just kept sliming it and sliming it and sliming it because it was just a small little hole. But I think what had happened was I kept, I was running it, I ran it a few times with like probably 30 PSI or so, 20 PSI, and the sidewalls, you know, that's, that's not good for a tire. So I think I finally just ate it. I finally just said, nope, you know what? He didn't take care of me, so I'm blowing out on you. <laughs> Never use their spur tire. Today I wish I was one of them people, but we're gonna use ours. Kevin's the man, Kevin's the man. Got to love help. This happened one time on my way to Florida. Somebody stopped at four o'clock in the morning. It was like 40 degrees outside. Somebody helped me. If I didn't have a second bath, I would have been SOL and not been able to move my truck all morning on the highway. We're on a pretty busy road right here. Same situation. I wouldn't be able to move my truck at all until probably tomorrow morning. This guy, awesome. And just like that, it's the next day. My camera battery died. But we managed to, well, what we did was we slammed on uh, a regular socket onto these and just torqued them down. This is our spare. We managed to get that down. Uh, taking a Chevy spare tire off of a truck is definitely more complicated than it needs to be. But we managed to get that. Uh, and then we managed to get our, got, get, get our load. Yeah, we managed to get our load. This, this is what we were after. We got 150 2 by 6 by 12s and i mean this trailer is just jam packed full of them wow so i did some calculating and i thought i needed about 120 boards so yeah we went ahead and bought 150 of them but now comes the fun part well half the fun half the fun was last night when we loaded them now we're doing the other half now unloading them
I'm hot. <laughs> 36 minutes, 50 seconds.